the geography class. Do, 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 hey! Do, 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 do. In the fake Sophie's layer. That was super dark. Um, excuse me, because I want to turn on the x-ray lights. It's a little too dark. Shut up! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> too late! <laughs> She turned it down. Ooh, but then it was too dark. I can't even see myself. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm turning it to just normal. Dying. All right. <laughs> okay. This goes. Anyways, I have a. Am I even the right way? No, I'm not. <laughs> Well, anyways, while well, that was taken care of, um, I, hold on six. I may have lost my walkie-talkie because so the other Sophie smashed it, which actually is Sophie. But I found this new. Um, <laughs> oh, I know. Sophie is not gonna be happy when she sees you. Sophie is not gonna be happy. I tell you. That will happen later in the story. For right now, let's explain what's happening right now. In the nature, there are a couple wild animals. Cheap Cheap, Donald, Perry, Cotton, and a pig donkey? Quack, quack. Huh? <laughs> and there was a turtle that was scared to go in the water. But really, uh, he thought he was getting close to the water, but really, he was only this close. <laughs> he was so far away. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> it's just a cup of water. <laughs> that is Oliver. He teaches turtles to not get scared in the water. <coughs> and she was eating a lovely flower. <laughs> now it's okay, it's just water. Water is very wet, but beautiful to swim in. <laughs> dark, dark. <laughs> and she was hopping around. Fine, fine, fine. Field. Oliver's mother was Vicky, who delivered popsicles for everyone. A green popsicle and a purple popsicle. Just perfect. Vicky! 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 And the turtle couldn't even reach. <laughs> yeah. Plus, he was slow. Yeah. Oh, I'll help. Yeah. There you go, little turtle. Okay, now put it back. <laughs> and eat the other one. Okay, now put it back. <laughs> All right, time to turn back. All right, now it's time for my food. <laughs> Anyways, then she was frothing. And bang, bang, bang. now we move to the real class. Meanwhile, there was a geography class that was about to be started. All right, everyone, welcome <laughs> to the sixth grade. To the sixth. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, you got this sixth. <laughs> I can't believe you already know how to say it. <laughs> yeah, Jack, give us the intro. <laughs> Welcome to the sixth grade geography class. There where you we go. can learn and have a fun time around the world. And this is our class pet, Sunny. Wait a minute. I have a chameleon with Sunny. Damn it. All right, I forgot about that. <laughs> so uh, is this cat named Sunny too? Yes. Okay, that's very strange, but okay. <laughs> All right. Anyways, today we are going to be learning about the world. So. Wait, what's the world? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The world is the place we live in. Jeffrey, remember next time to raise your hands. But yes, we do actually live on the world. We live. Let me show you. Digger, Right. 
right here. Right in the glove. In it's the Detroit, Michigan. The state that looks like the mitten. That's how you remember it. Oh, Anyways. yeah, right. So. Um, excuse me. Yes? What animal are you? Um, I'm a... And I am a dog. And this is our uh, cat. <laughs> Come on, say what animal you are. I'm a zebra. I'm a dog. I'm yes. a seal. I'm a cat. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me, let's see. Oh, uh, he said he's a giraffe. All right. Um, Wait, is he a giraffe? Jack, can I talk to you for a second? Sophie, you're in charge. Make sure no one does that online. He and doesn't even have a long later. neck of his. Are we? Mm. Even though he doesn't have a long neck, he's obviously <laughs> a giraffe. I mean, he has spots like a giraffe, his head's like a giraffe, his ears look like a giraffe. Even though he talks to a voice with a music box, this is the point. But he's a giraffe. <laughs> well, listen, we need to get things straight. What one. is it? One, how is Mango even in here? <laughs> oh, um, this is an opportunity to make her learn new stuff. I decided that having in a new dumb student would, <laughs> would make her become smarter if we teach her all of the concepts. All of them. Then she would become a smart student instead of a dumb student. And then she'll be smart for life. What do you think? All right, that's a great idea you have there. Listen to my plan. What is it? Is it backfired? No, no, no. So, I'm guessing you're going to say something along the lines of she can think up of her own answers and she can ask questions too. But let me tell you exactly how that would have gone down if she thought up of her own answers. How? Let's say, because we know this isn't true because she does know what animal you are. Let's say she doesn't know what animal you are. And Okay. Pretend I'm Mango. You're teaching. And I'm sitting... And because I'm answering my own questions, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, Jack is an alien. So then, <laughs> <laughs> so then, when I raise my hand to ask a question, and you call on me, say yes, I say, okay, so, Mr. Alien, um, so, <laughs> and then you probably stop me mid-sentence, or you'd uh, wait until I finish and say, I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Who? And I'd say, oh, Mr. Alien, I drew my own conclusions. <laughs> That's exactly how that would have gone down. They kept um, arguing over if Mango should stay. But in the meantime, Sophie was yelling at Mango for not knowing what shape the globe is. Wow! <laughs> what is the shape of the world? <clears throat> okay, listen up. I'm going to say this in the most loving and caring, respectful manner I could even muster. What shape is the globe? How <laughs> do you not know what the shape of the globe is? I want you to take this. Um, a triangle? A triangle <laughs> is a 2D shape. Um, a circle? <laughs> it looks at, like a circle. At least you're on the lines of it now. No, a circle is a 2D version. <laughs> Excuse me. What does 2D mean? <laughs> yes, Shiny? Why are you yelling at Mango? And Sophie thought that Pearl, not Pearl, sorry, Shiny probably would have known a lot more because she was qualified. But little did she know, Jack put her in there too as one of dumb students. Well, let me see. Tell me what shape the globe is. Uh, hmm, this is a toughie. I can't believe this! <laughs> Sophie got even more mad, and she started hitting them with a wreck. How do you not know? <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, it didn't hurt them whatsoever. <laughs> what do you want? You better stop hitting your kettle, all right? I know it doesn't. 
to like hurt now. But if you keep doing this, I'm gonna have to report you. And then Ooh, Sophie was in shock. I'll get fired. Exactly. Okay, who need to stop harassing these two? And Sophie demonstrated what the shape of the globe looks like by Elephant's Ball. Alright, now, is the elephant not working? Here we go. Turn the page to explore. Is it round like a ball? Dun, darn. But yes. Ooh, let me see. Let me touch it. Did it? Who turned that on? Um, I think Jack did. Dun, darn. <laughs> Welcome to the club! No. Oh, but we're learning! Alright. Ooh. May go place it back in your seat. Sorry, I'm just discovering what this ball is. Hey, why are there no sounds? Ah! Fine, okay, okay, fine. Do do do. See, I told you this is going well. Alright, if you say so. Alright. <laughs> so. But then yeah. Jeffrey started speaking more now. <laughs> <laughs> she was so bad. She took such a big breath that almost all the oxygen got taken out of the room. Ah! Everyone moved a little bit <laughs> out, but she exhaled. Ah! <sighs> Please raise your hand or hoof, whatever type of. Um, it's a hoof. Yes, we know. Whatever type of uh, body part that acts as a hand. Please first. Please raise <laughs> your hoof first. <laughs> Anyways, before anyone says anything else, <laughs> I know you like to talk. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Stay calm. Jeffrey, I know you want to speak, but now is not the time. We are going to have a lot of our time to speak today. Okay. We're going to have a lot of, of speaking time today. So, can you please just sit away? Thank you. But she didn't actually understand much of Jeffrey's language. What Jeffrey was trying to tell her is that Sophie was hitting the little rake. But, of course, because Persian was the only one who even understood a bit of um, Jeffrey's language, she thought that he was just talking about muting. All right, Jeffrey, let's, don't worry, we'll have more time to talk. And if you keep talking, you're going to sit under until we're done. Uh, yes. Um, how do I understand Jeffrey's language? He's just speaking music. Oh, don't worry. I'll teach you later. Anyways. All right. Anyways, let's so, turn on the globe here. No, which is what we're going to do. No, but I want to turn it on so that we could learn. Ah! So grab the pen, the stylist. All right. After this, we must turn the globe on. All right. So, so um, uh, by the way, it's a stylist, not the stylist. 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 Yeah. Okay. So, Sunny is going to spin the globe, and Jack is going to try to land on the place. Wait, uh, the globe is touching it. We need to make it closer. <laughs> I wonder where we're going today. Let's and it was a very it. weird place. Let's try this again, because we got the ocean. Wait a minute. I have a question. Right? Yes, Mango. What's an ocean? <laughs> okay, let's stay calm. I can't tell us anymore. <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> It's okay. a large body of water that engulfs um, a country or a continent. Okay, um, let's go to the break room for a little bit. <laughs> she broke everything in the break room. She broke it all in with one ear. Until there's nothing left in the break room. 
I guess she just needed something to break, I guess? So anyway, um... <sighs> <laughs> All right, anyways, uh, where was I? Anyway. Oh, yes, I was right here, just pointing to my stylus. Woo! I wonder where we're going today. <laughs> we are going around the Snake River in the United States. The Snake River? Okay, uh, I, I have a two-part question. Don't worry, there is no actual snakes there. Okay, question one, what's a snake? And question two, what's a river? And Sophie was right at the door, because right when Mango asked that question, she was just coming in. <sighs> <laughs> and then she immediately went back to the break room and started breaking the thing she broke. <laughs> Until she broke one of the tiles off of the break room. A snake, that's a very good question, is a very long, narrow animal with a forked tongue that catches lots of small mammals. And by the way, mammals are animals with a backbone, and animals are just, you know, um, like you. Oh! And you, too. Oh! I know, Sunny. Just one more thing. And then a river is a narrow body of water. All right, I'm finished. So now... So the reason why this is called the snake... Stop. Sorry. So we are going to turn on the globe and we are going to ask it about Snake River. And once we learn about Snake River, we are actually going to go to the place that has a bit of the Snake River. What? This is unbelievable. It is actually the start of the Snake River that we are going to. Oh my gosh, this is oh. outrageous! Alright, Jack, if you wouldn't mind, Welcome could you make us start room. learning about the Snake River? Alright, now may I speak? Of course. He had troubles with interrupting too. So, the Your reason why it is called... Play with this globe. <laughs> the stylus works best when... Skip back! <laughs> I know, let's calm down. Oh, I, I stop. So anyways, the reason why it is called the Snake River is because snakes are narrow animals and a river is a narrow body of water. So the Snake River is just very, 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 very narrow. <laughs> That's all there is. So let's look at the Snake River. What? Oh, stylus. Animal. Geology. Human I guess geology is okay. Geology but geology is the study of rocks. I know. This is where we're going to be going. So, geology would be great. Missouri River. Great no. Salt Lake. The Great Yellowstone National Snake River. The Here Snake River is the largest tributary of the Columbia River and one of the most important streams in the Pacific Northwest section of the United States. Wow. Runoff from the states of Wyoming, Utah, Nevada, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington combines in the Snake. From elevations of 10,000 feet, the river descends to 300 feet at its outflow into the Columbia. Wow. Just... Wow! How did we take pictures of that? Oh, um, the BBC professional company takes pictures of the Snake River to show to us. Landmark. Capital. Languages. Use uh, the stylus. Now we're going to be learning about, learn about the languages, languages that the U.S. Or countries. The United States of America. English is the official language. Turn up the brightness. The to touch the globe and learn about each country. There we go. Currency. Use the stylus now to this touch is going to be currency or money. Of America. The official currency of this country we'll do one more is after the this. United States dollar. All right, one more, but we're going to the Snake River. I at least a part. Size. Use the stylus to touch the globe. Mix it up. Continents. 
Use the stylus to mix it up. Size. Excuse me. Use the stylus to touch the globe, the United States of America. United States has over 326 million people and a total land area of roughly 3.8 million square miles. That's so many people and square miles. Dang, I wish I had a seal town but had that many seals. <laughs> All right. All right, we're done with the globe for today, and we are going to go to the Snake River. Everyone was so surprised about this. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is outrageous! I'm back. Where are you? Sophie was still angry, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. Okay. <laughs> That she, burned her last nerve. She turned so slowly. <laughs> that burned her final nerve. And she was the angriest she would ever get. She went back over there. She pulled down the whole break room wall. And, and then the whole break room crashed into the classroom. But luckily, it only a little bit of the wall exposed because of how hard their walls were. <laughs> Because of our hard walls, it didn't get through. Duck, duck, duck. What's a wall? It's um something made out of bricks. That yeah. Used to cover. Yeah, I think so. Oh. I'm back. And Jeffrey's mouth was shut for her own protection. <laughs> All right, we are going to moving on. So I need to just get a few wires, and it's a two-person job. So um. Jack, you come. We are going to line up. All right, everyone. To be nice, we are going to continue learning some things around Snake River. Because if I don't, I'm going to get too mad. And then Elephant <laughs> is going to report me. That's right. You better watch. Who's this? Bingo just got back. <laughs> and Bluey just got back. And this made Sophie even more angry. Covering 
This means that they are at the top of the food chain. Other animals, including fish. This is where real chaos comes out. This is the uh, fake Sophie. Wait a minute. No, he's over there. I have to go get it. Can you play games with No! <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> oh no, I have to run. <laughs> and they were fighting. <laughs> Just at that moment. <laughs> somehow they ended up at the ice cream parlor. <laughs> with Louie and Bingo. <laughs> And this is, they didn't know this, but it was actually the fake Sophie. Sometimes it could curve, but it never curves. But Mango was completely out of line. <laughs> um, excuse me. Uh, how straight is the line again? Oh, it's completely straight. Like 180 degrees. Look. Right here. Oh, okay. See? I told you this is going well. All right. Everyone, we have multiple elevators. So every two people will be in the elevator. But Jeffrey, you will be... um. In one separate elevator. Why <laughs> <laughs> her so angry? And Jeffrey said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. And by now, when Sophie finally caught up with them, they all had just found the wild cotton. God <laughs> 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 Um, and this Sophie was back now. <laughs> this was the Snake River, the smallest and narrowest river. But Turtle was so scared to go on it. Where is Sophie? I just said that she was here. Hmm. Um, she's under. Oh yeah, right. She's under. Better. I don't know. Can you hold the iPad, please? I, I need to get her. Well, by the time she was there, she realized she had to be calm because there's a turtle there. Anyways, then they found then they found a wild cotton who was just hanging around in the bushes until Persian finally um, went over to her. Hello. Oh, hi there. We are on a world. We are on a tour. Ooh, that's interesting. Where are you guys going? Here. <laughs> oh, to the Snake River, you mean? It's all the way over there with that scared turtle. <laughs> Before we go over there, we want to see all the other attractions around here. Yeah, of course. I'll show you the tour of the whole entire nature. All right, first, can you show us your diet? Yes. Um, I mostly eat carrots for a living, but often I eat flowers, too. I see you live next to a whole flower garden here. Yes. In fact, my friend is Oliver, who also has a couple flowers there. Hello! Bye, bye. Oh, hi, Oliver! <laughs> she has a pretty big orange flower to eat, and she likes it. Bye, bye, bye. Anyways, um... If you could please continue the tour, can you please guide our tour? Yes. So this is a very strange animal I found. It was, it's a pig mixed with a duck. Whoa. So cool. And then she said, wait, what? Wait, who? Wait, what? Who said that? Um, Shiny. Oh. Wait, what? It's a pig ducky. So Whoa. it could either be a puck or a 
dig. Quack, quack, quack. Excuse me. <laughs> One, yes, and two. Are you even okay? Uh, her yes. voice just sounds like the elephants. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, anyways, it was this always here, or did you have to um bail at Replica? Actually, this is not a build. We actually for um a hundred thousand dollars per segment of land. Per segment of land. <laughs> At least five five thousand dollars per animal. Five thousand per animal, and in total, with some other added items to make this seem like their home. And the um, pig duck was around twenty thousand dollars. Twenty. We have come in total to a little bit less than a million dollars just for this. <laughs> to buy a part of the Snake River. <laughs> wow. Anyways, let's focus on the pig duck. Don't tell that to anyone. Oh! So anyways, welcome to nature's glorious sights, pig ducky. Do you want to um, be my assistant? Quack, quack. All right, pig ducky and I will show you the rest of the tour. So there is a tiny baby platypus in the lake. They decided to show them the Snake River last. So they went over all the other attractions before us. This is the Missouri Lake, a round lake that attracts fish and, and platypuses and is usually quite bubbly or somewhat bubbly. It's not very bubbly, but just somewhat bubbly. Because <laughs> um, he made bubbles by Rip. flowing in the water. <laughs> But he actually likes to do that. He likes to swim underneath. Everyone, watch out. It looks like he's coming up big. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. The Missouri River is very splashy around here. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Yes, and Pig Ducky, you're right. The Missouri River is round. I mean, not river, lake. And Wally really wanted to swim, but he needed to ask for permission. Can I swim? Of course, this attracts seals too. Only a few. All right. <laughs> well, this is fun so far. See, I know you like this. But Shiny definitely hated going in that lake because she's a cat, and cats hate water. <laughs> it's okay. I've got I. I'm a cat too, and the only thing I don't like is when I touch the water. Don't worry, you can get as close to it as you want, just don't go in it. Jeffrey said, if it makes you feel any better, I'm a giraffe, which means I hate water too. Listen. Oh, well that's a little comforting. And they both stayed away from the water together. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> With a <laughs> tiny little grunt, Jeffrey grunted away. It takes a while for Jeffrey to talk. Anyways, um, hey, this is so much fun. Anyways, um, if you wouldn't mind, um, we're kind of on the clock here, so can we spend just about fifteen more minutes here? Oh yeah, there's plenty of time in nature's glorious bosom. What? Why is everything frozen? Uh, what? You know bosom means like this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No more saying that. In nature's glorious mother nature-ness. <laughs> I promise we will never say this word. My window started going crazy. Is Sophia crying? No, I'm just laughing. Hold on a second. Stay here. Um, talk. Um, mango asking. Jack. Pumpkin. 
So, Jack. Yes? What is a bosom? It's kind of inappropriate for me to ask you. Are you sure you would like me to ask you what a bosom is? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay, you might want to come in a secret place. Here's a bush. So, you know how you're a girl bird? Yeah. Well, in puberty, once you're starting to grow older, you might grow breasts. What are breasts? I'll tell you that later. Anyways, the bosom is kind of the middle of your breast, like that. But we should not probably tell that to anyone else. Because it's just a talk between me and you, okay? It's about your puberty. About how you change, how your voice changes, and heck, even how your learning possibilities even change. But just to let you know, we never say bosom here. It's kind of inappropriate for me to tell you what a breast or a blossom is. But just to let you know, you can have a private talk with puberty with me anytime you want. But just to let you know, be careful not to say that around people. That's inappropriate. Okay, I'm sorry. It's okay. In fact, um, I'm sorry, everyone. Wait, actually, Cod should say sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. We will never say this again on this channel. What went on with you? <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, we just had a little talk about puberty, and Mango is just starting to develop. So, um, we still have a couple more. So, Mango, probably never say bosom in front of people, okay? That's kind of inappropriate to say. All right. I'm sorry. It's okay, Mango. That was funny. But seriously, we never save us on this channel. But seriously, it's funny. <laughs> okay, are you finished? Sorry. It's just so funny. I'm so sorry, Sophia. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Um, anyways. Um, now that the 15 minutes are over, I'm sorry, Wally, but you have to get out. Oh. And he, ah. and he hid in the water. <laughs> he coughed while he was in the water. And then bubbles came out. <laughs> we know you're in there. We see the bubbles. And he They were actually choking bubbles. And he couldn't um, swim anymore, so we had to come out. Yeah! <laughs> Shall we continue? Come on. And they dried him off. Anyways, we will never see Bustle again on this channel. <laughs> then they turned around and there was another attraction. All right. Oh. So anyways, now this is the Snake Lake. It's kind of a narrow lake, but not that narrow. It's kind of a semi-lake, like a semicircle. So that's what makes it so half. <laughs> half, like half a lake. You know, it makes it so half. In nature's nature is not bosom. <laughs> Definitely not bosom. <laughs> oh. So anyways, um, we have a fish named Cheep Cheep, and he really likes the water around here. So comfortable. And this is Donald. <laughs> He's just a baby, and he is getting to know what water is. <laughs> so um, no worries. Um, anyone can learn anything. But then... Um, Cotton got a really concerned and scared look on his face. Mm -hmm. What is oh it? Oh my god. But Cotton just said, look up. Look, look up! It. And it was Karopi coming down at the arena lights. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Speed up! Holy up! But, Come but, on! But luckily, it just missed them. Holy! Yo, did you see that frog? That dude was ill! I mean, did it. Just for your respective apology. But anyways, that was yeah. Can't you believe it? We almost died! I'm sorry. We almost died in the middle of a, of a very important school tour. I'm sorry. I'm just um, exploring. It's okay. Anyways, uh, let's go to the last and final tour of the day. <laughs> Which is, by all means, as I promised, Wait, the no. Snake River. We missed a couple things. Wait, what? Here. Oh, yeah, right. Um, this is the bush. No, and um, Oliver. Oh, yeah, right. 
Okay, this is Oliver, uh, my dear friend. Hold on a second, everyone needs to get here first. All right. <laughs> Just wait for everyone. While we're waiting, uh, I could say hi to Oliver. Hi, Oliver. Oh, uh, hi, Cotton. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just getting along with the tours. <laughs> All right. Hold on a second. Everybody's here now. Why are you laughing? Oh, um, at first I didn't know what bosom is. <laughs> but now I really know what it is. Cotton, you shouldn't say that out loud in public. I know. I just taught myself that. <laughs> Okay, are you done laughing? <laughs> no, not yet. Not yet? Yeah, because hiding in the bushes, a little ear poked out, and immediately Dang. something new went out. <laughs> <laughs> she was so mad, in an instant she broke all the bushes on the all the branches on the bushes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but no one was there. So somehow, with magic, she replaced the bush. <laughs> Oh my goodness, not even a single branch cracked. <laughs> what was that sound? Uh, nothing. Anyways, let's continue. So, uh, what's your diet? Oh, um, I usually eat mostly flowers, but I consume um, carrots only really often. Only I mostly special eat occasions. Only on special occasions, like but a birthday. I mostly eat flowers. But they were surprised when... Um, Oliver said that sometimes they eat popsicles. Sometimes I even eat popsicles. What? What? How do you eat popsicles? That's yeah. a very good question. Uh, I'll guide you through this tour too. So they moved on to the last, to the second to last one. This is because my mom has popsicles. By the way, her non-mom name is Vicky. Oh, okay. Probably don't say that out loud too. Because moms respect not having their full name said out loud. So let's just say mom, okay? All right. And then um, Sophie turned over and realized <laughs> that she was standing right next to the over Sophie. <laughs> and they both immediately left rocket shooting and hit right into Bingo's face. <laughs> and then with her belly, Bingo said something. They didn't understand it. Daddy, come and see. Your daddy is not even here. All right. Um, mom. Oh, uh, yes, my sweetheart, my honey. So, um, can we have popsicles, please? Of course. That would be five cents. Five cents. Outrageous. Oh, my God. This is so much better than at the real ice cream store. At our, at my old ice cream store, we have to pay a hundred thousand bucks just for an ice cream. But at this one, wow, I feel so happy. Hold on, let's do a head count. Everyone, Fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times five is 40. So here's one dollar, keep the change. Can I have uh, eight popsicles, please? Yeah, it's this or your money back. But don't worry, you will not get your money back. This will be the mo this will this will be the most delicious popsicle you'll ever eat. So All don't right. worry. <laughs> who wants purple and who wants green? Me, I want purple. Mango, I want green. I want green. Mm. Until everyone finished their popsicles. Mmm, yummy. Now, can you show us the snake river? Yes, actually. All right, Cotton, lead us to the way. We are now visiting the Snake River, which is one of the narrowest rivers in nature's glorious natureness. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> not in bosom. Hold on a second. Everyone's cow not cowering. I'm crowding around. Welcome to the magic adventures Sorry, I was playing with the gold. <laughs> <laughs> I read Sophie was so To the, to the um, beach tent. God darn it. <laughs> the, the beach is so much fun. Oh, yeah. 
The bitch is really so much fun. Isn't it zebra? I mean, not zebra. I'm zebra. Isn't it elephant? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It is very fun. <laughs> Elephant moved this slow when Kuropi was on top. Dun dar. She he was moving as she was moving as slow as a snail. A very, very but, slow snail. But the second Kuropi got off, she went too fast. <laughs> Kuropi thought it was a fly. Shaking dot X. X. Uh, for one miss for five milliseconds, the two zebras locked eyes and they immediately ran. And they both tried to get there first. <laughs> but Sophie <laughs> got there first. It, please excuse this interruption. I have found a wild zebra. If you see this zebra with different eyes, different belly, you must report her. And if no one claims that she has been here, you must kill But she was so surprised that she faked it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and she already died because she fainted. Well, how did she die right up? <laughs> <laughs> the only problem was, Bluey took a class in medical emergencies. So... <laughs> Bluey immediately grabbed. Can you hold the camera? My hands are tired. Bluey immediately. Um, you have to grab that and Bluey immediately grabbed the bed, placed it down, and um, started working on it. <laughs> this is the nursing song. I'm gonna correct the situation here. <laughs> The nurse song took two hours until Sophie was finally cured. Two hours later. <laughs> Just stop playing the music! <laughs> and then Bluey finally said that she was done. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! I mean, oh, for zero's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now they were at the last part of their tour, and um, Oliver was just about to get the turtle to go in the water. <laughs> Don't worry, turtle. Uh, this river is not really full of snakes. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only filled with fish and a few other turtles. Come on, you've got this. And finally, he popped in. <laughs> Everyone, the turtle was so happy. And everyone cheered and clapped. <laughs> Woohoo! I oh, am. Yeah. Oh. I know you could do it. Hmm. This rock is very hard, by the way. Uh, this is only used for diving and going in the water. Oh, that's cool. Can I? Of course. Ooh. Dine. I love to swim with you. Oh, it's not very splashy. Yeah, there's not much water. 
and it's very narrow. Mmm. They decided to, um, once they were done with the tour, they all went back and they learned more facts about, um, the snake river. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Everyone so. Everyone come back. All right, goodbye, see you later. Bye-bye. Quack, quack. Jeffrey and Shiny were walking like this, like. <laughs> Darn. Where'd I go? Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Come back anytime. Wait, 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 wait. For the rest of the day, we are just going to keep learning about animals. Ooh, that's cool. In the, around the snake river. All right, yeah. I'm in the snake southwest here. United States and parts of northwestern Mexico lives a very venomous species of lizard called the Gila monster. Mm. Although they can use their venom to protect themselves from predators like uh -huh. coyotes, uh -huh. these lizards move very slowly. They very tend slowly, to hide right? underground in burrows or shelters most of the day. They eat spines, <laughs> birds and eggs, and store fat in their tail to stay Jeff, alive to through time. inactive stay winter here. months. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, we have time for three more animals. Jack, can you um tap, use the um stylus and tap around or on this, put um this on the Snake River so we can learn about animals there? Yeah. And if it's one we already learned about, try another one. Using the okay. Stylus, touch the globe Thank you. To explore. I'll be right back. Yeah. Come on, Jack. Start. All right. Yeah. Largemouth bass lives in whoa, swamps, whoa, whoa. ponds, lakes, creeks, and rivers. No, 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 no. Around the Snake it has River. A large oh. Bass often sought by fishermen. It's so narrow, I can't even see the snake. It's right here. Oh. Found among the Rocky North America is the bighorn sheep. As the name suggests, these sheep have large, heavy, curved horns that can weigh up to 31 pounds. 31 these pounds? Wow, they really show off weight. Called rams clash with each other. Two competing rams face each other and then lunge into headbutts. This is why the horns of bighorn sheep often show damage from these fights. Oh, wow. A lot of breaking contact there. Yes, and we can see that there are more Snake River animals. In the northern parts of North America lives the grizzly bear. These bears are brown in color, with gold and gray tips on their hair. Grizzly bears are very large, and they can weigh over 661 pounds. Oh my goodness. Grizzly bears are hibernating animals. During the period before hibernation, these bears build dens and eat a lot of food. When they hibernate during the colder season, just like me, I eat a lot of food. To seven months. Seven months. Oh my god. Seven months is a long time. Yeah, you're right, Mango. It is. It honestly is. So let's go to one more snake river animal. Found throughout many parts of North America. The chipmunk is a small rodent that is often seen climbing trees and collecting seeds, nuts, and buds. Chipmunks have pouches inside their cheeks, which Aww, they stuff with food so to cute. carry home. At the beginning of autumn, chipmunks begin to stockpile food for the winter. Chipmunks then sleep for most of the winter and live off the food that they stored. Wow. Just, wow. This is so cool. This is literally one of the cutest animals I've ever seen. Let's watch that again. The wolf spider is found in a wide Oh area my goodness! Ah! A spider! It's just a picture of a wolf spider. Jeez. But hunt during the day, oh. usually by pouncing on their prey. Female wolf spiders carry their egg sacs on their back, but are still able to hunt. Ooh. Wait, they lay eggs? Dark, dark. Yes, they do. Wow, look at all those legs. Yeah, spiders have eight legs. And they use that to mainly walk. Mm, that's cool. Can I help turn off the globe? Yeah, you can. Yay! All right. So now we are finished for the day. School is over. Ding! And 
just in time too. The bell has rang. Everyone can go home. Psst. Wee 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 wee. Bye bye, Sunny. You're so beautiful. She does amazing for talking. She says, "Bye, Byron." <laughs> turned into a happy ending because the other Sophie was trapped and this Sophie was not. So then it became a the, happy ending. The original Sophie was not trapped? Yeah. Woohoo! But it wasn't good for the other Sophie who was super mad. <laughs> <laughs> and then she started saying na na na. Na 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 Dar dar. <laughs> and Kurofi was taking a nice nap. Ah. <laughs> but she was so cold that she covered her whole body. Ah. Wait a minute. Where do I breathe up? Until she pulled the blanket off. <laughs> so, ah, that's better. Wait, I'm too cold. Ah, ah, it's better. Too cold. Ah, I'm too cold. And it was a repetitive, repetitive ending for Kurofi. But ah, until ah. she finally did it. And then she snored and hooed very loudly. <laughs> and the duck pig thought that his mother was dear. <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack. So he went over to Jerome. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Get away. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> Mama! Mama! And this time she tried a different sleeping pattern. His first word was Mama! He tried she tried a different sleeping pattern. <laughs> and um, she tried. The end.